There are hundreds of valuable use cases for AI in marketing. Many are ready to begin exploring and adopting today, but it can be difficult for marketers to identify and prioritize use cases. When you think about use cases, it's gonna be what are the ones that are gonna bring the most value to your organization. I'm Paul Reitzer, founder and CEO of Marketing Artificial Intelligence Institute. In this video, you'll learn how to prioritize marketing AI use cases and how to use that information to help your business grow smarter. We're literally saying a task or an activity. So the best way to think about your job as a marketer is all these individual things you do every day. And whether you're an email marketer, a social media marketer, if you consider yourself an inbound marketer, however you identify in terms of the areas of marketing, it's made up of all these individual tasks and activities. That's what we mean when we say use case. In order to identify when you have a use case that may be viable for AI, you wanna look at three main things. Is it data-driven or should it be data-driven? Is there a repetitive process or could there be a repetitive process? And are you trying to make a prediction about behavior or outcome? Now, you don't need all three of those things. It could be any one of those, but those are the three critical elements of any use case that AI may be able to help you do more efficiently or better. Let's start with examples of advertising use cases. This could be adapting audience targeting, could be adjusting budgets, or it could be developing ad copy. At the Marketing AI Institute, we use a couple of tools here. One actually predicts the success of ad creative before we launch the ads. So we upload three or four versions of the ads with different messages and different images, and the machine actually runs predictive models on which will perform best. Another is we have an AI tool that actually monitors the performance of campaigns discovers insights within them and anomalies and recommends ways that we can run those campaigns better. Content marketing for me is one of the early places that I looked because my agency is largely a content marketing agency. This could be things like analyzing your existing content for opportunities to rank better, creating data-driven content, or recommending content to users on your website based on behavior. We actually use a tool that enables us to assess our entire online library of content we've ever created, and it finds opportunities for posts that may perform better if we enhance them. And that's a very practical way that you can quickly improve the performance of the content on your site by making it smarter. Data and analytics is another area that most marketers don't love anyway. So you can actually use AI to build attribution models that help you discover insights and learn more about what's contributing to conversions. You can find insights within campaign performance that you might miss, and you can generate performance report narratives. That's actually one of the ones that we started with back in 2015. We took our analytics reports and we actually trained a machine to write those. So rather than our people spending hours every month writing client reports about what happened on their website and what's going on in their pipeline, we trained the machine to write those reports and saved ourselves dozens of hours every month. Email marketing is a great place for a lot of people to start because we all use email and we can all use it smarter. So you can think about things like email nurturing workflows that get better, improving deliverability, individual send times based on when people generally open, having the machine write the subject lines. We actually use a tool that creates a smart newsletter. Uh, we set the audience and, and we give it a general guidance of where to pull content from but the machine actually learns what content people respond to and it adapts each email that goes out to an individual level based on the things that they've previously clicked on. So it kind of functions in a way like your Facebook newsfeed or Twitter where it learns the things that you're interested in and then it actually serves those up to you and then continually evolves over time. So a smart newsletter may be a great starting point for people. So we just went through uh, more than a dozen use cases that might work for your organization. The reality is that it's very subjective. When you think about use cases, it's gonna be what are the ones that are gonna bring the most value to your organization? And that's likely gonna be either through reducing costs by increasing efficiency or accelerating revenue by improving your ability to predict outcomes. So one of the best ways to get started is actually to list all the tasks and activities that you do every day, every week, every month. And it could be building analytics reports, sending emails, writing subject lines, writing blog posts, recommending content, building lead nurturing campaigns, all of these individual things that you do. And then what I like to do is create a column in a spreadsheet that says how much time do I spend doing this thing? 
Then create another column, how much money do I spend doing this thing? Are you paying for a piece of software to do that thing? Then you create a column that says, what would be the value to intelligently automate this? Very simple, just kind of one to five rating of one, no real value, five, this would transform everything for us. Then the last column would be your ability to intelligently automate it. Is there technology out there that makes it possible to automate that process? And do you have the budget to do it? Now filter that spreadsheet and you will have the things that you have now said will be the most valuable to intelligently automate. Once you have this database of the tasks, activities, or use cases that you value intelligently automating, you can go find those vendors. You can do something as simple as uh, Googling AI for content strategy, AI for email subject lines, and go see if there are vendors out there that are building solutions to do these things. Another starting point though is to talk to your core tech stack companies. So if you're a HubSpot customer, talk with your rep and say, are there smarter ways to be using HubSpot? HubSpot has more than a dozen AI powered features within its platform, many of which you might not be using right now. So sometimes the best way to get started and to find use cases is to go to your existing technology platform companies and say, what are you doing with AI? How can I make my marketing smarter with your platform today? In order to get started, the best thing to do is think about quick win pilot projects. And by that I mean run a 90 or 120 day pilot program where you implement the technology, you have a goal in mind, and you measure if you improved, if your marketing got smarter as a result of it. And then you build those pilot projects one on top of another until you're eventually scaling AI throughout your marketing department. You don't need to intelligently automate every use case across your marketing team to realize the potential and value of AI. Start small with individual use cases that can accelerate revenue and reduce costs. And remember, a little bit of AI can go a long way.